I really do hope you enjoy your Monday morning because I am. It's the 14th day of October, almost, not end month, gosh, almost half of the month. And we have a holiday on Friday. <coughs> Clear throat. It's going to be a little month. My name is Valentine. And you are watching White in the Morning. So we run from 7 till 10 in the a.m. And it's a daily show. So Monday all the way through Friday. And we have different themes. And today we highlight it with health, politics, and conversation with our gentleman. That is Matt Crush. But we start off with health and today I think is, is gonna benefit you because I, I want to believe everyone can relate to this particular topic. Meanwhile in other news at White Before on Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter hashtag is Y in the morning. That's how you can communicate, ask your questions or you can text us at 20154 starting with Y254. Now please help me welcome my two very able guests and the Okay, come Kwanza to us. I love when to scare topics, you know. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How, How are, are you guys? You look lovely. You look lovely as well. The poster makes you look like a supermodel from I don't know where. Do you model, mom? Uh, you're like the 99th person to ask me that. You I should. <laughs> Immediately after this, you are so gorgeous. Oh my oh, gosh, you, you really should. You really Thank really you so much, love. Nice. Thank you. But, but to tell us your name. Uh, Miss V is my name. Mm -hmm. A radio presenter, TV host, and mm. a love of life. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, that's why we connect. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Absolutely. Good morning, Professor. Yeah, good morning I to you. I can't wait to be a professor. I don't know if it's in the cards for me, but hey, I'll never be called my first name ever again if I have a professor right there. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Fine, Valentine. You look amazing. Please Thank give you us so your uh, name, your full name. I am Catherine Gashoda. Mm -hmm. Yes. How can we find you if someone maybe likes uh, how you conduct yourself? How can we reach out to you? Uh, you can reach out to me uh, from Kenya Institute of Business and Counseling Studies, mm -hmm. Cape Co, mm -hmm. which is opposite uh, Meridian Hotel mm -hmm. or Best Western Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, at uh, the Southern House mm -hmm. Building. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and uh, you are a bit more social, <laughs> so your social media platforms would be. Yeah, uh, that's Miss V underscore KE. That's mm -hmm. V with uh, two E's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right, so today we're talking about stress. What is stress? Previously, okay, last week, <laughs> previously, the, where the story originated from is on the 10th of the month, 10th of October, was World it's mental health day so today we're trying to f we grabbed on an aspect of stress because mental health is a lot there's so much to mental health so we're just gonna nitpick and we picked stress and i think that would be very r relatable to the youth because every time an older to how are you ah man zeniko stress mm. what is stressing you at kitambo my mom used to ask me if if she asked me if i'm okay and i say no i'm stressed she asked me but you don't have children you don't have a husband yes. why are you stressed yes Nico, oh so those are the only people are allowed to be stressed mm -hmm. please help us understand what stress is professor <laughs> yeah it's uh, very interesting that you say that mm -hmm. because uh, in our african culture mm -hmm. somehow we do not have an orientation of, of being allowed to say what we feel and what we think about distressing distressing situations mm -hmm. and so because of that we learn not to say them so that uh, when we meet with people, we mm -hmm. tell them about the good things of our own life, mm -hmm. but we don't tell them about what we are going through mm -hmm. that is stressing us. Mm -hmm. So when we think about stress, it is about um, our internal mm -hmm. uh, challenges that we may be having mm -hmm. or external challenges that we may be contending with that we are not able to have a capacity to manage mm -hmm. so that amounts to stress because then you feel I am overburdened with what is happening to me mm -hmm. that may be something physical mm -hmm. or it may be something that you're thinking about mm -hmm. but even when we think about mental health mental health is all that what we are thinking what we are feeling our own values that we think that we are keep not keeping up to Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's very mm -hmm. subjective. Very subjective sometimes, mm -hmm. but the physical aspect of stress, mm -hmm. anyone can see. Mm -hmm. Because they can see that someone is fatigued or someone is not able to handle mm -hmm. situations very well. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Again, I want to use uh, something my mom used to tell me. Before there was the, the onset of social media, before you know we could take pictures and post and show everyone that we're living a good life. My show London. Before that, people just used to meet on the street and a story. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. This is what's going on. And we didn't have the pressure for, ah, I want it. this one is better than me. And uh, we were used to, Kwanza we used to be in the same school, we used to wear the same uniform. Now look at us. One is driving a, a, a house, a V8. You, you are just shu, shu, inaitwaje? Shubaru. I'm a Futuzuki. You know, <laughs> my friend, you know, because life lies to us. They, they want us to believe we're all the same, but we really are not the same. We are not the same at all. So there's that pressure for, okay, now I'm young and, and I want to be like this person. I want to make this amount of money. Say, Kipchoge, Venyako, that fame, I'm sure there's someone who is running, who has been running for a while now, who wants to be like Kipchoge, who wants to 159 up in this town. How do you deal with the pressure, Ma? Um, I think when it comes to social media, especially because we live in an era of social media, mm -hmm. it's um, just you as a person, how disciplined are you and how principled are you? Because if I have my goals and I know this is what I want and this is the route I'm going to take, if I come on social media and I see you driving your cars, that's good for you. But I shouldn't feel like I have to compare myself to you. Mm -hmm. Because what people don't understand is when you're comparing yourself to someone else, mm -hmm. you're comparing your disadvantages against their advantages. Mm -hmm which is so not fair. So if I go on social media and people have nice cars, people are moving into nice apartments, that shouldn't bother me because that's not what I want, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want something different. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want a mansion. Mm -hmm. And just because it got it before me does not mean I'm not going to get mine. Mm -hmm. Eventually I will. Mm -hmm. But if I allow that that's going on on social media to get into my head, mm -hmm. I'm not likely to get what I will. Uh, what I'd set aside to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how I deal with the pressure is I'm just principled. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you have nice cars, good for you. Mm -hmm. Nice houses, good for you. I'm yet to get my own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I do, I'll know what to do with it. And you're going to know what did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to paint a picture of a youth who's, you know, scrolling down their phone, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, and they see something maybe that they cannot afford. Some, let's call it, let's say makeup or, or viatu, I don't know, something that you don't need, but you really think that you want to have in order to fit into society. I, so you see this, you can't afford it because A, you, you're barely making ends meet already. At a fair, by the way, those roots that have matatus that increase fair absurdly, you know, that is a wrap, you know, but you're constantly taking screenshots or, or just building hope that you want to get this, but you want it now. You don't have that patience for it. It's okay. L maybe one day at a time I can save up for something like this. I'm on a copa. You want to borrow from someone else so that you can get something that you don't really need. And it's, it's not working out, but you, you're either still going to school or you still have a job. So now you're not sleeping because you're feeling like you're not fitting in to, to this place that you're supposed to be fitting in. So now there's some fa some sort of stress. Mm -hmm. Hulali, fatigue, you have bags under your mm -hmm. eyes. So what what's the process? How do you get yourself out of it? Um, you get yourself out of it by management. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Learning how to manage yourself and being contented with what you have mm -hmm. at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Because uh, just like um, she has said, that uh, you need to fish or rice. Mm -hmm. uh, what is reality for me at this particular time? Mm -hmm. Because when you want to have that, the shoes, whatever else that you'd want to have, it is something that you hope to have. Mm -hmm. And it is a good thing to hope. Mm -hmm. It's a goal to have and an expectation that is human. Mm -hmm. But you cannot live the fantasy. Mm -hmm. You have to live the reality mm -hmm. and the reality is I am going to wear the shoes that I have mm -hmm. because they are the ones that I can be able to afford at this particular time. What I see to be quite a challenge mm -hmm. with young people today is to live the fantasy instead of living the reality. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they stress themselves to the limit mm -hmm. because you see, you can't be where you're not. Mm -hmm. The only 
uh, thing that we can be able to manipulate at a particular time mm -hmm. is now because it is the resource that we have in terms of time. Mm -hmm. If you work around that, you will be able to get what you want into the future. Mm -hmm. And so I would say if young people accepted this is where I am, yes, comparison is normal, mm -hmm. but then you need to know I need to vary my comparison mm -hmm. so that I can be able to see this particular person has this because they have done one, two, three, mm -hmm. or because maybe they are privileged because of the families they come from. Mm -hmm. Since I come from a different kind of a family, mm -hmm. I also need to work an extra mile mm -hmm. so that I can be able to get where they are. Mm -hmm. I think living with the reality and knowing that they can manage their feelings, their thoughts that are out of the realm of mm -hmm. what they are going through is very important. Mm -hmm. All right. And just, just to mm -hmm. add on a bit, I think it's okay to go on social media and take screenshots of, you know, a nice dress, a nice car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too, I'm very <laughs> guilty. It's, it's okay to take screenshots, but mm -hmm. you know what you do about that is what really matters. Mm -hmm. Do you take that to start, you know, calling yourself off? Do you take that so you can start comparing? Mm -hmm. Or do you take it up as a challenge? Like, man, if she did it, mm -hmm. if she's wearing such clothes, why shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So if you're not wearing such clothes, if you're not driving such cars, then that should jumpstart something inside of you. Mm -hmm. So it, it should motivate you mm -hmm. to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't have to necessarily get the exact clothes, mm -hmm. but it should motivate me to get somewhere apart from where I am. Mm -hmm. So if you take screenshots, it's, it's fine, mm -hmm. but just use it for the greater good. Yeah. I like what you said, because my next question was, today we were talking about, of course, the 159 is a craze still, and something that intrigued us is he didn't run alone. He had around, if I'm not wrong, six pace setters. So that says something about the people you keep around you. Very you much know, so. You, you have a goal and there, there are certain type of people who, you know, their vision is aligned to yours. Mm -hmm. But you would find, ni kama kunguni wengine, wana kukula nandani. And it's and it's a terrible thing because especially if, if you find yourself, either you're emotional or, or you're shy or whatever kind of character that you have and then you, you confide in someone and mm -hmm. they break that confidence, you know. That now there's, there's a another type of stress going on there. Mm -hmm. like, oh my God, what did I do? Is it my fault? What kind of person am I? And in reality, it's not really your fault. So you'd have someone being upset with you, maybe for something that you have. <sighs> How many times in a day do you get told you, you, you are you told that you're beautiful? Uh, honestly, <laughs> <Unless> you, <don't. laughs> you see, <laughs> yeah. you know, then if someone, if you have a friend who maybe is not as aesthetically pleasing, as you mm -hmm. and now they w they they feel some type of way because you're gorgeous and everyone will tell you you mm -hmm. know so they'll use something that you don't have that they know you don't have against you mm -hmm. so ka for example wo nishi na mom na mimi mehama na nimechoka watu kuambia unaka vizuri na ni sawa tamini anda tu kwangu kuchill just so that i can give you that car you they know, know. Yeah, how do you deal with that man say like ni nini uh personally mm -hmm. i have a very bold personality mm -hmm. and i'm very I love myself mm -hmm. and I know my worth. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what you have on your table, mm -hmm. I know my worth. Whether I have something on the table yet or not, I know my worth. And I think that's uh, people. Uh, that's something that challenges so many people mm -hmm. in that if you don't know your worth, mm -hmm. you're very likely to be swept off your feet. Mm -hmm. So know your worth, value yourself, mm -hmm. do not negotiate your value, mm -hmm. don't lower yourself meet someone's standards, mm -hmm. just jiweke mm -hmm. If I'm not as pretty as Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. I still know my worth. I'm s I still know there's something I can bring to the table mm -hmm. that a Kardashian cannot. Mm -hmm. That's very true, by the way. <laughs> so Keep it's all about just knowing thing. your worth because when you know your worth and you know your value, mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything that can put you down. Mm -hmm. And if anything tries to put you down, you know how to get up. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, I think the challenge is what is your source of life? Mm -hmm. What, where, what is, you know, what's the center of your life? Because mm -hmm. if you make material stuff the center of your life, mm -hmm. then you're going to miss on so much. If you make, um, you know, houses and cars to be the center of your life, so mm -hmm. if cars vanish, you don't have life. Mm -hmm. if, if you decide that your friends are going to be a center of your life, if they vanish, that's just about it. So again, I want to bring in the aspect of just making God the center of everything, making sure he's your source of life. Mm -hmm. He's my source of life. So whether I have a car or not, mm -hmm. oh, well, I know I'm killing it all here. <laughs> I like you. Mm. You know, they say, 
kuishi kwingi ni kuona mengi and 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 i want to phrase this carefully because i i know you, you okay i don't know how to tell you this because you you're over there and i'm over here with her in studio but she has a very calming presence it's like you have you're very centered you have peace of mind how can we get that andy how because <laughs> this our lives every time every time something is have you had these young children talking about heartbreak as if okay yes mm -hmm. heartbreak yeah me pity heartbreak i know but heartbreak nowadays it sounds like your heart literally is broken someone has mm -hmm. done something to it how do you how do you stay so calm <laughs> allow me first of all to start from the discussion you're having there before mm -hmm. in regard to someone um has betrayed you mm -hmm. Uh, betrayed your trust, you have given out some information that has been used against you mm -hmm. and you feel betrayed and you feel distraught. Mm -hmm. How do you handle emotions when they are everywhere? Mm -hmm. One of the things that you need to do is to know what is the emotion that is disturbing me. Mm -hmm. I am disturbed by betrayal but betrayal may not be the underlying emotion. Mm -hmm. The underlying emotion may be anger. Mm -hmm. You feel angered with what has happened to you mm -hmm. or what a friend has done to you. So then when you know it is anger, then you need to motivate yourself to deal with the anger. Mm -hmm. You don't d uh, just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Many people, what they do is that they keep it by the side, mm -hmm. they go drinking. Mm -hmm. That is a way of dealing with it. But you see, you have just suspended dealing with an issue that you need to deal with. Mm -hmm. Instead of knowing, I need to be prompt with my own issues. Mm -hmm. I am answering the question of, I'm very prompt in dealing with my own issues. Mm -hmm. If I'm going through shame, I will deal with it. Mm -hmm. If I'm going through anger, mm -hmm. if I'm going through resentment, I am going to deal with it. Mm -hmm. and just like she has said, the mm -hmm. Bible says, let the sun not go down before you handle your anger. Mm -hmm. And I would say that about all the negative emotions that we go through. Mm -hmm. And young people will go through up and down with their own emotions. Mm -hmm. So you need to learn, I need my own self-care. Mm -hmm. In terms of mental health, I need me to be whole, mm -hmm. and I need me to be complete, mm -hmm. and I need me to be centered, just like you have said. Mm -hmm. And the only way that I'm going to do that mm -hmm. is to make sure that my emotional health mm -hmm. is taken care of. Mm -hmm. If your emotional health and spiritual health, am I doing things against my own conscience? If you do things against your own conscience, mm -hmm. you find yourself hitting at yourself. Mm -hmm people will commit suicide because of that mm -hmm. they don't like themselves they are out of themselves they are fragmented in in relationship to themselves mm -hmm. but bringing ourselves together to say i forgive me for the things i have done against myself mm -hmm. then you're able to do a recorrection of yourself put yourself together and start moving again it is continuous work it is moment to moment work mm -hmm. knowing that no one else can do it for you mm -hmm. only you can walk that journey with yourself that whatever is happening inside yourself mm -hmm. the processes that are happening inside yourself mm -hmm. that you are in tune with them and you are ready to make sure that you're putting them on a healthy path then you can know that you and yourself in the inside are good companions mm -hmm. mm, that's important mm. very have I not been telling you to love yourself? Have I? Now we have a professor saying the same thing. Love yourself, please. It's important. Let me use myself as an example. So, Niju, last week, some time, someone had upset me, you know. I had I'd been trying, I was trying to see this person, but our schedules were, were not just adding up. So, in my head, I'm so upset. I'm like, why, why are you not putting enough effort? Why, why are you not doing this? Why, why, why? And I'm not saying it out loud because I have I've realized speaking when you're a bit emotional is not a very good idea. <laughs> just chill. Just jipet to shuguli, my friend. And then when you've calmed down, that's because there's power in words and you cannot take back something that you've said. Mm -hmm. You can't. You just can't. So I asked myself, okay, 
Now I'm having an argument with him in my head. We've argued, we've argued. I'm like, okay, but what's wrong with you, Valentine? What's wrong? Why are you angry? Like, why for real are you angry? So it's not something he did. It's something either you are you are not able to do right now, or, or something that you're trying to. Do. I don't know, but it's it's with me. It's not mm -hmm. with someone else. So now that took me a bit back. I said, okay, why am I feeling like this? How can I fix it? Am I ashamed of what I did? Am I feeling guilty for something? And and it's important not to take stock of those emotions because if if I don't deal with how I'm feeling about me I'll probably project it to you Very true. so if I don't like maybe the way my hair turned out today it, after twisting for <laughs> surgery for how long and then I see her looking surgery some type of way <laughs> the first thing I'll do is be angry with you why do you look nice but you know angry with me you know <laughs> I'm angry with me like why didn't I do this instead of this why didn't I you know it's 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 all in here literally inside your head mm -hmm. which which brings me to alone time alone time is necessary do you think so uh yeah very much so Why? <coughs> especially when you're trying to take a break from the normal mm -hmm. uh personally uh when i was i think i started struggling with depression i was very young mm -hmm. but i just didn't it was depression it's until i grew up and i was like oh they have a name for this mm -hmm. okay it's not big problems for white people <laughs> It's wow. also black people problems. Mm -hmm. So I used to suppress so much. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, something comes my way. I don't deal with it. I just, you know, push it at the back, push it at the back, and it gets to a point where now I'm just frustrated about anything, anything, everything, anybody, mm -hmm. everybody. So if you don't do something for me, I start relating it to maybe a past experience. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, maybe I'm not as important as I think I am, mm -hmm. and uh, so I can understand, you know, when you're having an argument in your head. <laughs> I really feel you. So um, that's, that's uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. So mm. basically, uh, I used to suppress so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realized I used to bleed on people who didn't hurt me. Mm -hmm. Cause, and that's very, that's very toxic. Mm -hmm. Because some people come to you with just clean intentions. And then you just end up bleeding on them because you've not dealt with your issues mm -hmm. per se. So it's very important to just deal with yourself. Mm -hmm. first. So that's where a long time comes. And alone times does not really mean solo. Mm -hmm. It could be just a break from the normal environment, mm -hmm. a break from your even parents, mm -hmm. a break from your uh, friends, c colleagues, just about anything mm -hmm. that makes you feel very, mm -hmm. you know, that step Please. away. <laughs> Sometimes if, if I'm in a closed room for a long time, I do not think this is claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. I, I don't actually feel like the walls. I just... I feel like my, my presence has filled the whole thing. Now I need to go somewhere bigger. Like I yeah. need to go outside mm -hmm. and f remember that it's not all about me. Mm -hmm. That I'm a ve if you see me from, you know, aerial view, I'll be a dot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just need to to remember that even though the what's up in my head is a lot, mm -hmm. there's there's a lot uh, there's a lot more going there's, on. Yeah, there's, there's a, a lot bigger more. picture. But also when you're having a long time, mm -hmm. it depends on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Not a long time. Personally, I used to be very, I'm very outgoing, I'm a very bubbly person, mm -hmm. but at some point I was just laid back, I just locked myself in my room because mm -hmm. I was really, I was really in a dark place. Mm -hmm. And then when I finally decided to have a change of environment, mm -hmm. I was just around people who just want to drink and drink, and that for me was therapeutic mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. I, I just used to drink so much. Mm -hmm. I used to cut myself so much. Mm -hmm. I used to be very suicidal. I just didn't have... Mommy used to cut yourself. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. I do I have scars. I'll give you a hug. After the show. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it depends when you're having a change of environment, what are you doing mm -hmm. and whom are you doing that with? Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a bit n very toxic because I'm, um, you know, out of the frying pan mm -hmm. into the fire. So just alcoholism, mm -hmm. just being even more depressed, just it was too dark. Mm -hmm. So when you're having a break from a normal environment, when you want some you time, just be very cautious because mm -hmm. you're also very vulnerable mm -hmm. at the moment. So anything that looks like a solution could sweep you off your feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why I relate to that, Dr. is because I also had a similar experience. Mm. That I had a life-changing situation and I didn't know what to do with myself and I did not want to hear my, my own voice. Mm. So, like I said, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of do what she did. As long as I was never alone. But you, if you want to drink, it's okay, let's go drink. But now I say I was drunk 24-7. It was not helping anyone, you know. And I had people worrying about me, the people who loved me, like my family and all this. And like, what's wrong with you? Should we take you to rehab? And like, but I'm stressed. How do we, what do we do there? <laughs> <laughs> the long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, both of you have captured it very, very well. Mm -hmm. That you can have long, 
you may want to have loan time, but it's important to think, um, do I have mental health mm -hmm. to allow me to be able to have a me time that is going to be productive? <laughs> mm -hmm. As a therapist, I meet so many young people or even people who say, I can't stand my loneliness. Mm -hmm. I can't stand me <laughs> with me alone mm. in a room. Mm -hmm. And for the others who are going through like depression, yes, they are going to be alone, mm -hmm. but it's cutting themselves away from the people because they don't have energy mm -hmm. for the people. Mm -hmm. And therefore they are there because they are suicidal or they are there because they are not able to have the, the energy to be with other people. And so mm -hmm. uh, this tells us that um, we need to know, just like Kipchoge, mm -hmm. he knows that uh, he needs to be disciplined mm -hmm. so that eventually he can be able to win the race. Mm -hmm. And even us as individuals, whether young people or older people, they need to know that you need to make sure that you are relating with yourself in ways that you understand mm -hmm. that what you're doing to yourself is gainful or is adding value to you. Mm -hmm. And if you get yourself to a point that you're cutting yourself or mutilating yourself, mm -hmm. that means you're not in a good place in terms of your mental health, mm -hmm. emotional health, moral health. Mm -hmm. You know, all those aspects of our own being, mm -hmm. you're not in a good place completely. Mm -hmm. And many a times, again, what we see a lot is you're not able to help yourself come out of the hole you are in. Mm -hmm you need other people, caring people. Mm -hmm. We are talking to young people, but we are also talking to family members. Mm -hmm. We are talking to friends. Mm -hmm. It is a friend who will see Valentine is not in a good place. Mm -hmm. Let's go and talk with her. Let's have moments, mm -hmm. two months, three months with her. Mm -hmm. We will get her out of the hole that she is in. Before we lead her to a therapist or we lead her to a doctor, a psychiatrist who is going to take care of her, we need to convince her that she really needs help. Mm -hmm. So we need other people to help us to be able to see that we need help, whether we need help, where we can help ourselves. But if a, a, a person is not able to help themselves, then the social um, unit around mm -hmm. them is the one to help them if not those ones then they need to go to a physician mm -hmm. or they need to go to a psychologist mm -hmm. like me so that we can be able to sit together and as psychologists when we do an assessment mm -hmm. we will say this is not only something that is requiring us to talk about mm -hmm. it has gone to clinical levels mm -hmm. where you need medication for you to get out of the hole you are in mm -hmm. and get well mm -hmm. and many people when they are proactive about their mental health instead of now going to club or going to drinking mm -hmm. some people will even get addicted to some behaviors mm -hmm. like having sex mm -hmm. You know you're not interested with that relationship, mm -hmm. but the only thing that is taking you there mm -hmm. is because you need companionship. Mm -hmm. But this companionship is not healthy for you mm -hmm. because again, it's taking away your integrity, it's taking away your love for yourself mm -hmm. and you're feeling, what have I become? Mm -hmm a thing to be used by other people. Mm -hmm. But you see, you are taking yourself to that mm -hmm. and you don't know you're taking yourself to that because you're not in a good place when it comes to your mental health. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I like that. Okay, now that, unfortunately, my director is telling me we're running out of time, but story Meshika wants say, I don't wanna go, but at White54 Facebook, at White54 channel, Twitter hashtag is why in the morning. So maybe in, how do we conclude this? How, how do we tell them to manage stress? Because stress is not something very large all the time. It's not that you've lost someone or you've been in an accident or something that has happened to your lover. It could be a small thing. Like, you know, maybe your boss was not happy with something you did. You already now feel like you need to validate yourself again. Or just small thing. We need to, we need to learn how to manage the small stresses so that, that lead up now to, to the big one. Because if you don't fix this one, this one will become two, three, four, five, six. And suddenly you're going to the hospital for shock therapy, okay? So how do we maybe manage that? Can I start here? Yeah. 
Sure you can. Yeah. Um, I think for starters, the people around someone who's depressed, mm. you have to be very sensitive. D depression does not have a face. I cannot look at you and say you don't look depressed, but so and so looks depressed. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone is being stressed and they're depressed, you don't have the right to tell them they're not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You don't have the right to tell them, but you don't have a family, you don't have kids. Mm, you're not of eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you, you're still in your 20s. Why are mm -hmm. you depressed? That no, that's very negative and very toxic. Mm -hmm. Because when someone comes to you with a problem, just at a Kamahutam's idea, just listen to them. Yeah, don't call them off. But uh, mainly, again, your source of life. If you make God your source of life, mm -hmm. if you make God the center of everything, you don't even have to worry about the people around you. Mm -hmm. He got you. You know yeah. why I, I fully applaud that statement is because, yes, we've talked about pace setters, we've talked about friends, mm -hmm. but sometimes they won't understand you. Mm -mm. It's just you. Yeah, it's it's you. And sometimes even those people that you think you're reaching out to, unenda kumwambia na ye anenda kuupdate watu. For one one zaval, sasa ziko aje rada. And that, that kind of hurts. It, it, it negates. Now you want to get better, but not the person you're supposed to. So how do we find that inner strength within ourselves first before we reach out? Um, I would say that um, all the time, you need a tool to help you to understand where you are at. Mm -hmm. For some people, they will say, I write a, jan a, a journal. Mm -hmm. Others will, will say, I write a diary. Whatever you do write, you're bringing out your thoughts here and your emotions here so that you can be able to understand them. And so that you can be able to know, is mm -hmm. it beyond me or it is within my own resources to mm -hmm. deal with it? Let us not get ashamed as young people to go to a therapist. Actually, I always advise people, mm -hmm. go and see a therapist like three times mm -hmm. an year. Mm -hmm. Because just the same way we go to take tea or to eat, mm -hmm. we need to go and see our therapists mm -hmm. so that we can be able to talk about something that is not uh, going well with us. Mm -hmm. And also to get an assessment of where we are at. Mm -hmm. Because we do assessments of where people are at in the different aspects of their own lives, whether it is emotional or physical or spiritual or moral, all those aspects, we do an assessment. And that helps, it, uh, helps an individual to know, where am I at? Mm -hmm. And what would I want to put effort in? Mm -hmm. If it is my emotional or spiritual, then you really know where your, a lot of your energies need to go mm -hmm. so that all the time there is something you do with yourself let me say that life is a business mm -hmm. you are transacting with yourself mm -hmm. how well are you transacting with yourself mm -hmm. just like we get the coaches or the pace setters mm. so that they can help us to be able to do our business in ways that are productive it is the same thing mm -hmm. Oh man, thank you so very much for your words of wisdom. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we finish up? I love you. <laughs> oh, you too. She's so amazing. Oh, thank you so very much, Professor, for coming. And you over there, if you know, you know someone who is not okay and you're there telling them, and they have feelings, get over yourself, shame on you. If you know someone has confided in you and you weren't telling everyone because you have gist about someone, shame on you. Okay. I will be telling myself shame on you because I think it may tend up mother and the weekend, but it's okay. It's in-house problem I can sort. At Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is why in the morning. You don't want to miss it. Okay, Alex is coming up with youth and politics.